Raising a Community of Readers is an educational video series highlighting easily accessible early literacy strategies for children ages birth to five years. Can you guys stand straight and tall like those stripes? How do you stand straight and tall like those stripes? Yes, that's really good. How would we stand like these stripes? Will we go like this to be like those stripes? Those horizontal stripes? Oh, like this. Like this. The Toledo Museum of Art is an art education institution and it strives to provide access to and information about the works in its collection. The museum educates and inspires the community by teaching visual literacy, engaging lifelong learners of all ages, and providing learning experiences in a variety of formats. So my name is Kay Blake, I'm the manager of curriculum here at the Toledo Museum of Art and in my role at the museum I'm really responsible for thinking about um, visual literacy, what it means to teach visual literacy and what it means to teach it broadly across all of our audiences. What we have seen at the museum is that there is a really strong correlation between teaching visual literacy in early childhood and early language development. So we're really focused on thinking about descriptive vocabulary and how we can use the great works of art in our collection to help parents help their children to develop strong vocabulary. How long is it going to take them to get to Australia? Two. Wait, um, 10 whole days. 10 whole days? And what are they going to do? How are they going to get there? They're going to um, row in their kayak with those paddling things. They're going to have to use those paddles and row and row and row. Like do, you, do you think that's going to be easy or hard? Hard. What do you see? Can you tell me what you see? You can use your words. What's on her head? Crown. A crown. Is it smooth or spiky? Spiky. We have a variety of tour programs such as baby tours, toddler tours, and preschool tours, which get us a chance to get with parents and children and teachers up into the gallery and really demonstrate what meaningful early art experiences can look like. Oh, the musician's wearing a hat. I see a really big hat. Can oh, you look? Up, there? <gasps> up top, Ben, look. Do you see the hat up top? Um, I see a yeah. box with a bunny and a thing that's holding and a crane. A box with a bunny. B -b box and B, -b bunny. That's really good. With those programs, we have two purposes. Um, I think when we think about the children in the galleries, really we're trying to excite and engage them to show them that the museum is a fun and a safe space. But in addition to being for the children, these programs are also for the parents and the teachers. And really what we're trying to model is how you can use the visual world, great works of art, but also things that you see every day, and use them to help develop descriptive vocabulary. So, for example, as we're looking at the works of art, we will point out the colors that we see. We'll encourage the children to move their bodies so to stand straight like a straight line, to be wavy like the wavy lines. So really give them an opportunity to express themselves, right? And to start to develop those higher level vocabulary about, about the visual world. To learn more about museums and early visual literacy, please visit toledomuseum.org education and the Ohio Arts Council website. More information about early literacy can be found at educationohio.gov's early learning and development standards. This educational video series, Raising a Community of Readers, was made possible through the cooperation of the Broadcast Educational Media Commission of Ohio and WGTE Public Media in consultation with the Ohio Department of Education.